Welcome back to the Reading Corner. I am super excited for the story that we're going to read today because we have talked all this week about what it means to be kind. And we know there are so many little things that you can do every day to be kind and make someone feel good. So today I want to read a story that shows you some of the things you might be able to do to be kind to the people around you. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday. Hmm. All over her new dress. Everyone laughed. Almost did too. But mom always tells me to be kind. So I tried. I don't think it worked, I said. I thought Tanisha would smile. But she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. Do you see her? How do you think she's feeling? He was right. I think she's probably feeling sad. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin? Let her borrow my sweatshirt? Spilled my juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind anyway? Hmm. Maybe it's giving. Making cookies for Mr. Rinaldi who lives next door and is all alone. Letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. He might win races in them too. That would be super fun. Maybe it's helping putting dirty dishes in the sink. Do you think mom and dad would really like that? Me too. Cleaning up after Otis, our class guinea pig. He's a messy eater. Dirty. That would be very kind to help the teacher. Maybe it's paying attention. Telling Desmond, I like his blue boots. Asking the new girl to be my partner. Or listening to Aunt Franny's stories. Even the ones I've heard a hundred times before. Oh, do you think it's kind when we listen to people? Me too. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle or saying, thank you, bless you, when someone sneezes, hi, or good afternoon. My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Being kind can be hard too even when you know what to do. Teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky, even when I'm patient. And sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really, really hard and really, really scary. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem Maybe all I can do is sit by her in art class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things that other people do and together they could grow into something super big. really big, so 
big that all our kindness spills out of our school and spreads all over town. Travels all across the country and goes all the way around the world. Whoa, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Right back to Tanisha and me. So we can be kind again. And again, and again, and again. So, what do you think? Did Tanisha like the picture? I think so. So when you are kind to someone else, you make them happy and you make them feel good. And we want to make people happy and we want to make people feel good. So I want you to practice really hard being very, very kind to the people around you. Maybe you will share your toys with your little brother or your little sister. Or maybe you will help mommy with the dishes after you eat dinner. Whatever you can do to be helpful and to be kind would be a great, great thing. All right, friends, go be kind to everyone that you see because I know you guys can do it.